Welcome back to Let's Play Hand of Fate. Let's give it another go, uh, another run a go, sorry. We've just dealt with the King of Dust. He is dust. Can you muster the strength to go on? Yes, I think we can. But we're gonna do Endless Mode. For the second run of Endless Mode, we're going to try a Fate, which I'm not going to use in the main LP. Now, there was a vote for Explorer's Gift in Thread, and so I'm going to show it off. Explorer's Gift is, as the name says, all about exploring. The rule changes are not so great for combat, but I don't think I care that much about heavy armor anyhow. Ah, you see this? This is the neat thing about starting with the Explorer. Did you expect me to tell your fortune? No. A fortune teller is at their most base and... Not bad. They begin this is part of the upgrades that we got from uh, defeating the King of Dust. One new bit of equipment. My powers are genuine. And I do like... Well, I like effect, and I also do tend to get hit. It's a hard choice, but for the sake of showing it off, I'll equip it. As pleases you. Just show it off here. Our Explorer's Helmet. Reveal st staring encounter upon entering a level and grants a gold bonus for revealing every encounter on level. A lot of faiths start with special helms like this that have unique bonuses. I can remove this, it's not locked to me, but that will also remove much of the benefit from being an explorer. Yeah, the explorer fate still keeps the bonus, but this is really nice. We'll see you later. And since I can safely use food to go around, Let's explore a bit. Sure you are grateful for that. Ah, I also just wanted to show off something quick because I remember we have this trinket we started with the Ring of Hindsight. It's okay, works very well with the Explorer's Gift. I don't quite remember if it's part of the fate or just an upgrade, but either way. Very nice. Somewhere we have the artifact that I just glossed over. I'll try to give this one a shot. Feather dice. Creating a blast of freezing ice is very good. Let's see if we run into Lizardmen. A brotherhood of peace in the service of war. Never trust a priest.
This one's a weird one to unlock. Um, I don't quite remember how to unlock it. I'll put notes in the video as a subtitle. Oh, it's you. <sighs> Fine, take your food already. Jesus. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're forgiven for now. A ruined monastery. So sad. Stranger in the shadows. The Count enters the picture. A challenge for you, and a token if you succeed. If the dealer's hint, well, background uh, comment wasn't enough, this will explain what the stranger in the shadows really is. Are we feeling lucky? One more piece of the puzzle for you. Work your way through the woods and see what lies beyond. Ah, that's nothing. How unpleasant. At their heart, all games are about power, are they not? The acquiring of power, the retaining of power, and most importantly, the use of power. And speaking of youth, Tavern Wager is uh, never somewhere I like to wager my helmet. Unless I had some way of, you know, having a good outcome. But we're swimming in gold. Choose from these options. Mm Unlike last run, when I had absolutely no gold to my name, this time I might be able to buy some things. A helmet I don't want. Oh boy. A hammer I, I, I don't want because hammers are bad luck for me. But why not? Interesting choice. And 10 food cards are not always seen. That's definitely worth picking up. Perhaps even twice. We have food for weeks. And extra gold. Oh, I hate these though. Even I am unsure where this thing springs from. That's actually rather fortunate. A horse is a fine companion. I'm sure you'll leave this one in time. You do not seem to have the temperament for friends, even in the animal kingdom.
Little pleases me more than watching your attempt to wriggle away from bad luck. That's a little bit unfortunate. I'm really glad I didn't take the mace now. Do you understand what it is we do now? Or did I rush you through the rules, pushing you into the play before you were prepared? Ice, the, the nice effect, and Ice Fang, the sword from before, would do about the same thing, but as you might remember, it's a little bit harder to aim. The ice effects do not last, but like many cards, they offer you a slight breather. No, of course you don't get a permanent effect. That would be too easy. Why do you ask? Sometimes you do get these cards, the ability to shuffle things around the deck. It does make it feel more like a proper card game. And I am very glad that these are going to the bottom, because we need none of these. I grew up watching the jewels of the Crucible, and even today it persists. Our ability to make blood a sport will linger long after you and I are gone from this world. This is not the first time. You know the drill. I like the gold. gold. Excellent. I've got enough food. I got, well, I have most of the items I need, and with any luck, I can keep 50 gold on me. Those of you who uh, remember the Ratman probably remember why I want 50 gold. Think about the way we play this game. You continue to die, yet we reset the board each time. One has to wonder how it is possible to truly lose.
thing I didn't actually notice until now is just how far Feathered Ice reaches. Being able to uh, actually give an ice effect so far across the map is fantastic. Great men wield great swords, swords of myth and legend. For you, this will suffice. This tale begins, and then proceeds relentlessly. With each step, you will discover a new card and a deeper mystery. Local adventure disrupts dark ritual or attempts to and fails, and then something horrible gets unleashed on the world. I mean, sounds like uh, Tuesday evening, really. We play for a token now. But you can't have my gold. I have plans for it. And once more, we fight. Ah, one thing I want to show off. This is the version of the map from some videos ago, more towards the beginning, which has traps in it. Originally, I thought the, the nighttime map was more dangerous, but it wasn't. Here. I can just lure them. Also, I've never really gotten them stuck like this before. This is a fantastic little discovery. I mean, not perfect at the game, but... It's, it's nice once in a while when you can just, like, exploit the ending just a little bit like this. Will they stay here? Suckers. So yeah, before I off this guy, just keep your eye out, because oftentimes if you're just walking around and you can't really see the environment very well, you will run into these. That's why they're traps. Most maps can be deadly like this. You have earned this. Ah, uh, sorry. I don't actually need anything you can offer me. Caves and caverns. One cannot hope to find adventure without a little delving now. The deeper you go, the harder things become. This is interesting. Deadly traps, uh, if I remember correctly, count as a curse. Now, if you avoid the traps, you don't have uh, much of a problem with this. But since it counts like a curse, we should be able to see it as removable in one of the future shops. We'll see if we can get there. All the world is a game board. 
and us men and women merely players. I alone do not play. I maintain the rules. You have choices, and I have predestination. Your choices, though, are merely a rediscovery of that which you already know. That's deep, man. But in the meantime, this is why being an explorer is fantastic. 31 gold and I'm still safe. Sorry, 31 food and I'm still safe. Even this ambush is nothing much. gonna speed up this fight but after watching this um, enemies getting stuck and the rat men just kind of taking me catching me off guard like this yeah I just lost half my health there um, this has happened before and it will happen again it's a cautionary tale Ooh. Oh well, never mind then. I thought that I thought that was gonna be worse, but I didn't get anything out of it, which is less good. More rats, more swarms. sure you're grateful for that. In the past, I've asked for gold. I believe I asked for food. But max health gain, even More if it's only five, is... Much good mate, do you? Useful. Especially if I keep getting hit like I do. Also, the Explorer is a little bit broken for health, because you noticed every time you have food in your inventory and you move a space, you recover health. And combining that with the Explorer's gift of not consuming food for encounters we've already visited, I'm already back at full. I don't know if they really intended for that to be the case, but I'm not going to say no. And you'd think that would be a massive exploit, but the game is still perfectly capable of killing us. So I don't think they mind too much. The king is one of the players in our great mystery, yet here he lies, dead and unforgiven. His time is now long past. Six little ratmen fleeing from the night. I could sneak away. I'll fight them for the loot. You won't have to uh, do the same.
Ah, this is very nice, though. I don't usually get huge success on this. But on this card, a huge success lets you just eliminate a card. Fantastic if you can pull it off. And thanks to that, the two skills should be fairly easy to dispose of if they can get caught in traps, which it looks like they are. Seriously. I don't know if deadly or traps also applies to enemies. If somebody knows, uh, please post in the comments or in the thread. Because it would be absolutely fantastic to hear that the enemies take uh, more damage as well. I don't usually see these in shops. We don't have the fate for it. That would be the merchant. But the jack of... Uh, oh, hold on. We have an artifact. We should use it. I mentioned earlier in the LP that artifacts are limited uses. We started out with many more, but right now we're down to four. On the other hand, I don't want to have giant metal crab syndrome too much. If you have it, use it. There is one card where it would be fantastic to have, so I want to keep the final use unless somehow I find a second artifact. fact spirit walk was pretty good consuming shame is very nice as well and Damocles well anything for combat is best but you know what I haven't show up, shown mercenary contract doesn't have too many uses but I'm swimming in gold and I'm flush with food. Let's pile up even more gold. Descend ever deeper into the subterranean pit. Lose one equipment. Now, this is why... In past videos, I've sometimes made a habit of holding on to just one little bit of equipment, because I don't know what's going to go. A shield. Your currency is spent, your memories tattered and torn, formed into mere cards for us to play with. Well, aside from the interesting thing the dealer is implying now, yep, we started with a shield. We gained a shield, and we have one left. Endless mode and some other things in the, in the world in the story dungeons can in fact take your equipment. It's a rude shock if that happens. Ah, the white minotaur. Again, a token is at stake.
Don't let that easy story gain fool you. It gets more annoying later. I'm not going to show off mercenary contract with lizardmen just because they're shields. They're a pain to deal with. But I will take care of these and I'll see you again after. Kearney's Antlers. In any other circumstance, I would love to have this helmet. Especially after all the lizard men we fought against. The armor of cold is uh, pretty cool, pun intended. And given that I have a problem with slowdown right now. Careful with that. The effect does not extend inside the armor, but you do have to get it on somehow. I'm just I'm just kind of imagining him trying to put that on while chilly and cursed. It's kind of ridiculous. I'll call that hedging my bets. Still no uncursing though. But we're doing pretty well. We've made it to level level six. Black Deck delivers again. That could be annoying. Except we don't really have a weapon ability right now. This does not extend to artifacts, thankfully. Once, many came to play the game. Now, it's so few. The bored, the obsessed, the weak. Some come here merely to fill their mind with anything else but their problems, with any other issue than the thing on their mind today. Is that what you're doing now? Given the time these videos are being uploaded? That's uh, not completely irrelevant. And I was talking about being flush with food, but... What's the worst that could happen? I'm hoping I'm right. Yes. Very nice indeed. Well, given I'm prone to being hit, great. Many of these blessings are too good for the likes of you. I had arcane knowledge before, but I'm actually using artifacts more. Very nice. Trust a devil, or don't. I wouldn't. Ah, uh, this is gonna be fun. This could be the end of this run, depending on how I do it. Without taking a scratch. 
and these are plague. You know, I'm not going to do this. This card is a very interesting condition. Um, if it shows up again, we'll try it again then. But the devil will also reduce you to little to no health. And I don't feel lucky when I'm going up against Ratman. Nature is the greatest threat, even with a queen now dispatched. Be swift. Let's see if I remember this one. We're going to stay where we are. A choice. Select your desire. We were fortunate. Just a simple chance. Embertown Hero, what could possibly go wrong? Uh, well, that could. The Embertown Hero is not always a hero. Oh, jeez. <sighs> okay, well, in... I, I I, don't really have anything to say in my defense. Uh, that was pretty darn stupid, and if I don't find that gold again, well... Yeah, the Emperor Town Hero and Artifacts don't really mix well. I don't really have anything here I can uh, make gold up again with, and the Artifact that, in fact, got me gold. is gone. Ah, uh, we'll just put Feathered Ice back on. Easy come, easy go. I am proud of my array of curses. Now things start becoming a lot more dangerous because I have just put myself in a pickle. As you could as well. I want to explore all of this, and I could. But I am hoping for food. Hopefully, these ratmen will give me some. Nothing. <laughs> Welcome back to Alicia in the Underworld. Alicia in the Underworld. I have no gold. As you plunder the secrets of your memories, you'll gain new cards. Some you'll wish you'd left untouched. Frivolity is not my forte. Welcome back to the Devil's Carnival. Let's see what we get this time. Nothing bad yet. I'll just give it a moment. Gain. 
almost entirely useless. And the Devil's Carnival remains a mystery. Now I don't have any gold, but I just want to take a quick look here. Okay, remove curses. This is what I wanted to show off. In any other position, I would remove at least some of these curses. Weak ankles would be good. But these are the dealer's curses from Endless Mode. They are pricey, but if you somehow find a money-making machine or you have some other way of getting rid of them, you can. The game's not going to stop you. It's just got a gold gate. And I could sell off a few things, really. Ring of Justice, I might want. I think I definitely do not want my Berserker armor anymore. Sparse and relatively empty. Mostly we skip over these moments in our memory. Yet something has caught you here. Metal Ore, I believe that must be the card to continue the Holy Forge quest I saw at the beginning of the run. I really haven't had much luck with these. I haven't found them in the right order. Uh, if Endless Mode continues, it might loop me back around, and in that case, it would be fantastic. Are you afraid of the grave? What irony. The restless spirit sensed the presence of a blessed soul and remained quiet. Nice. My blessings are useful after all. Usury, the root of all troubles. Ooh, well that could mess up Alicia. But we're an explorer, so let's try something here. After ten God steps, we draw you favorably. three gold cards. But we're an explorer. So we'll take advantage of this. He is not your duke, remember. He can only ask, not order. Ah, shoot. This is what I wanted the 50 gold for. And we don't have it. So let's try something. I'm going to walk around a little bit. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, so close. If I'd gotten a huge gold gain card that loan would have paid off. <sighs> Normally I wouldn't do this. But I'm going to go back and I want to see if there's anything I can sell off. Armor of Cold is really useful. But I want to get rid of the Ratman. You have no idea how much I want to get rid of the Ratman. So I'm gonna risk it. Make sure we actually are armored. Yep, it put it back on. So we're not without defense. And this time. Let us stake a token on their foolishness. We can start calling the Ratmen. men. 
Oh, rats. nice. So few friends amongst mankind. Yet the two have lived in close proximity throughout the ages and are more similar than either would care to admit. This was this was worth it. Endless mode to go down all the way to the bottom is a fun part of the game, but using it to unlock things is nice, especially since there aren't any real modifiers other than just what you get as curses going down. And just for good measure, let's see if we've got it. I will happily wager on the outcome. I do not think you have what it takes. Wanna bet? Ooh, yes, yes. Oh, this is great. And we still have that artifact. We absolutely want to give it. Oh. Well, um... Okay, so you're not the mystic. Fantastic. Let's kick some hell. I didn't have a chance with the other weapons, but just briefly. I'm showing off. I showed off the ability there for force explosion, which I'm not going to do much because I still have that curse on me. Unfortunate. But force explosion is exactly what it says. It knocks them back slightly. I believe it might damage them a little bit, but don't quote me on that. Fortunately, well, I don't think these are uh, rat men in terms of the uh, cleaver bonus. I don't think it matters too much. The fact that they don't have poison and that they're not attacking you with arrows or spears is... Beautiful. I'll take it. I'll take it. And you can see our curses and uh, blessings adding up there on the left. This has already been a fantastic session. I've gotten rid of uh, two card... To well, I've acquired two card tokens that I absolutely hate doing. With only three food, you'd better hope to finish this quickly, or hunger will finish it for you. Oh, the King of Dust is already back in the deck. Ha! Huh. Every card drawn from your thoughts and your memories. Every card tainted by your view of the world and your single-minded purpose. The same singularity of purpose that brings you here. A pleasure to see the Queen return. It's thematically appropriate. I haven't ever fought the two together, but once they appear in the deck as normal, either because of endless mode or because you're in a later dungeon, it is entirely possible for this to happen. And they are accompanied. So I'm wondering. Ah, shoot. It should actually be possible to draw the king's attack right here. Yep. I would love nothing more than to just have them just kill each other as hard as that might actually be. This is probably going to take a little while.
all I joked about the King of Dust not being that deadly earlier, paired with other enemies, he can be quite a pain. And I didn't even get food for any of that. Jesus. Wealth separates the highest from the lowest, and that is, in itself, a form of virtue. I do want gold. I like the rat cleaver, but I want to see if I can go a little further. Okay, that is just awful. Grateful for that. Nope. I'm not exactly grateful. But you know what? You know something funny? Zero food. But I can go on previous encounters and still regain health. That is a fantastic little exploit. I'm back to using a sword and axe. What an ignominious way to go. I do hope you find something to eat soon. Maybe, oh. That's a lot of huge failures. This doesn't normally happen. Now, starvation begins. But it still works. Well, I learned something new today. Uh, if you want to exploit the game, be an explorer. I have zero food, but as long as I walk back and forth, I am apparently a-okay. Bound once more, seeking the heart of it all. Ah, that is one of my favorites. This thing I have created, I can hardly bear the sight of it now. I've worked my way through its many convolutions so many times, mm. run through these conversations in my mind over and over again, wondered how it all ends. Will I ever know the truth? I don't really want to fight him. Let's drink. Choose I'm feeling lucky. Options. Or not. Ouch. Still not that bad. How good. This token will unlock more cards if you can defeat this encounter. 30 gold would be fantastic. Oh. But I don't have that. Let's drink. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be some kind of consequence for this. But uh, I'm not seeing it here. There's a token in it for you if you win. Shoot. Ah, uh, loss of gold means I can't do this either. Okay. Starvation begins to set in. Try to stay calm. Fear will only hasten your demise. And now I don't have food to give to the priest either. 
I think my luck has turned, and I used all of it to unlock some particularly nasty cards. We'll see if it turns around at all. But it's uh, quite possible this will be the end soon. Ah, an encounter with the devils of the night. Perhaps not your last. What went away? Toxic blood. Oh yeah. I'm surprised to see you turning your back on gold. I'm not turning my back on gold dealer. I just have to work with what I got. I Angel's Wing I've had use for, but right now I'm still in my explore phase. Really? Is that what you're going to do? This card will unlock more cards, and then still more. You must dig deeply if you wish to discover the heart of this mystery. But fortunately, I can still go on a little bit. Actually, this is kind of fun. Let's just get through these. Even without our food. fantastic. I won't do the exploit for too much longer. It's fun to show off and fun to do to see if I can go a bit longer than expected. And for a long session, oh, it would be sure uh, a lot of fun to try. But I wanted to point out something. When I had the encounter to deal with the Ratman, and I had to pay the 50 gold, that encounter remained active even after I stepped off it, so I could revisit the board and go back. Fantastic. Same with Alicia and the Underworld. However, the sailing quest here for our fate and charity, do not do that. I don't exactly know how the game categorizes these differently. It's not as if there's necessarily a rhyme or reason at first glance anyhow, but it feels like the things that are most annoying to deal with, the game gives you a little bit of a chance to go back and deal with them. Sadly, I can't pay for food or 40 gold anymore. But I can try to increase my survivability just a little bit. Dragon ring. All dragon relics are equipped. I have never equipped all dragon relics, but we've already unlocked quite a few things, so let's get it. Looks good. The key to success is specialization. The more specific the intention, the more channeled the power, and the more dramatic is the result. Yeah, at this point, I'm kind of throwing my gold around. Because you notice this stack here? This is success. And this up here looks like death, including some enemies we have not encountered yet. I worked long and hard to make that particularly painful. Ingenious, don't you think? Ah, Hero's Remains.
such an elegant use of rage and anger. You wouldn't expect it of the barbarian hordes. Yes, you can equip these items. This encounter actually gives you equipable stuff, and you could probably take it. Damage increases as you go up combo tiers is always great. I hope that is the curse that ends your quest. And you know what? In certain circumstances, I can see how that would be worth it. However, for getting this card completely... Uh, for having this card successfully completed, sorry. We're actually going to do the right thing. Open the chest to see what it contains. I'm curious. A fairly early unlock. We messed it up the first time. Maybe uh, second time's the charm. The first trap is okay. And we've done it. Uh, oh, uh, oh, no, wait. Um, this is a mimic. <laughs> I thought for a moment I've actually, I'd actually completed that encounter. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, maybe? Yeah. Uh, I was hoping. I haven't gone this long uh, in a playthrough without unlocking the treasure chest in a long time. Look. Look deeply. This is the fate of heroes. Um. I could have sworn there was supposed to be a token animation, so somewhere along the line something broke. I think it was the mimic. But we are actually going to return all these and keep the token after. Oh, yes. I made that a little too powerful. I will have to rebalance that next time. Yeah, um, the tokens are bugged out. I haven't seen that before. Roaming ever forward. Hunting for the truth. I appreciate your ingenuity. I look forward to seeing how you approach this particular challenge. This can only end one way, you know. Wimpsy and Caprice, the domains of the old gods. Were they always thus, or has age corrupted their natures? Arcane knowledge, what a shame. Cursed Gambler. This could be very bad for me. And the run's gone pretty far. So let me show off the Cursed Gambler. I'm not going to unlock anything. There's no token here. But you really want to play the Cursed Gambler when you're actually luckier. Because I don't want to be cursed. And this is a pretty hard shuffle as you can see here. Let's take a look. Starvation, eat twice Another as much food. Table. Let us see how you deal with it. Cowardice. I've actually not seen this one before. No ability to choose combat encounters may seem good, 
but it may prevent prevent some good outcomes and also it may prevent you from getting gear or other gains since we are pretty good on our run little pleases me more than watching your attempt to wriggle away from bad luck just gonna do that Ooh. are you a cynic or a romantic Nope. I've helped you guys once before. It never ends well for anyone. Plus, we're just trying to get to the end now. Ouch. If only you had a meal. Oh, and speaking of what the speaking of the lovers, this is what uh, they unlocked. Win this and claim my token. Let's see if we can steal. Darn right. And I want to see this card as well. Okay. Yes. I'm 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 glad we're going to try to unlock this. A challenge for you, and a token if you succeed. And now we actually need to find more treasure. We keep the gold this time. But we have to look for a treasure chest. Sounds simple enough, right? And if you watch out for the traps, no problem. Well, let's see here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Same simple enough, right? Look, there's so much gold. And so many traps. Place. So beautifully. Now, I've, I've did this dungeon before, and I'm embarrassed to say I walked past these boxes because I saw them as a wall. Don't make the same mistake. Otherwise, you will have to do this again, and you won't be happy. And there we go, folks. I wondered when it was going to happen, and Mr. Lionel's traps and dungeons did me in. I too would rather die than face the Jack of Scales. My peace takes yours, and the battle is ended. Try again. We will certainly have another run with Mr. Lionel, and hopefully I won't uh, take as much damage this time. But we have unlocked a boatload of cards for our future runs. Fantastic. We can just uh, give our blood to a vampire or give our blood for money. What could possibly go wrong? The Lich. One other locked card. Hopefully we'll be able to deal with the Lich uh, appropriately.
rat cleaver is nice, but that up there, ratman hunting, is the real prize. Are improving. Keep it up. This was a pretty good run. I'm really happy with the result. It went on quite long. I got to a pretty low level, and I got to demonstrate the Explorer's Gift fate. I actually recommend the Explorer's Gift um, if you haven't really played the game before and you kind of want a slightly easier mode, because the Apprentice fate, easy mode, is actually pretty easy. But being able to see um, some of the card layout, being able to know where the exit is, and being able to get gold from just moving around can help you a lot if you're struggling with the game. And as you noticed, uh, yeah, there are a few little bugs here and there with the, ex with the Explorer fate. I could have exploited the health gain a lot more than I did. It was fun to show it off, but it does have to end at some point. I didn't have as much luck with the Fates Unlock. At that point, I was already run out, running out of food and gold. And to be fair, that was my fault. If I'd been a little bit more, more careful with the Ember Town Hero, then I could have gotten further. But I wasn't. And you got to see that some cards that look like they're good on the surface, that had a good result once, might have an interesting little challenge later that you didn't expect. Anyhow, that's our second run of Endless Mode with the new Fate. And with that, I'll sign off. See you next time on Hand of Fate.